So this is coming out from The Athletic. Manchester United sold James Garner and it was Ten Hag who was the key voice in allowing James Garner to go. I think letting James Garner was, go was a disgrace, disgusting and a terrible deal. If, if Ten Hag was the one who said sell him, then Ten Hag is responsible. But straight away, it's very obvious that he's not. And it's very obvious that yet again, the media, the club, whoever, treat football fans like mushrooms. Get in the dark and we'll feed you on shit because you are thick. But you are not thick. You know more about Man United than the people who are running it. You know more about Manchester United than the journalists who write about it. You are the life source of this football club. Nobody else. Do not let them treat you like idiots. How can that story be fact? How can Eric Ten Hag be the key voice in selling James Garner? You're telling me Eric Ten Hag sat there and went, I know we need to raise some money, so let's sell James Garner for next to nothing because I think he's got no talent and I can't work with him. What a crock of rubbish. What an absolute load of rubbish. Eric Ten Hag has been told he's got to keep Aaron Wambasaka. If Eric Ten Hag thinks he can work with Wambasaka, do you not think he could think he could work with James Garner, a player that's been on loan last year and done very well, who's in his early 20s, who was injured for pre-season and has only actually been training with the first team properly for about a month. And, and, and Eric Ten Hag's gone, he's total shit. I'll never be able to do anything with him. Sell him now for nine million quid. What a load of throwing a manager under the bus nonsense. And the reason I mention this is because this is how it works. Drip, drip, drip. Push the blame onto the manager. He's doing well at the moment, but when it goes wrong, he'll get the blame and not us. United have been at it for years. There's, did Eric Ten Hag sell James Garner for nine million? No. Murta sold him for nine million. It's just complete and utter deflection. Did Eric Ten Hag organise the nine million sale of James Garner with no buyback clause? No, he didn't. So why is Eric Ten Hag being quoted as the main source as to James Garner going? I'll I'll say this, and I, I, I this is complete. I, I, I'll tell you when it's speculation. If I'm the CEO, sorry, if I'm the director, if I'm John Murta, and Eric Ten Hag says to me, I don't feel I can use James Garner this season, he's surplus to requirements. And I do my job as director of football and say, Eric, we don't need the money. He's a youth player. He did really well last season. I know you don't want to use him this year. Let me get him alone to Bournemouth or, 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 or Southampton. And in a year's time, we'll reassess it. And Eric Ten Hag goes, fine. I can't use him this year anyway. If we don't need the money, put him out on loan. We'll have a look next summer. I'm not so sure he's what I want, but we'll have a look next summer. Eric Ten Hag's job is not to go, I don't need him, and I know the club's desperate for money, so go and get nine million for him. It's completely illogical. A manager doesn't think like that. I would, I would absolutely take on board that Eric Ten Hag has said, I haven't got a place for James Garner this season. I guarantee he said that for whatever reason, right or wrong, he's the manager. And I respect that. And James Garner would respect that. Eric Ten Hag has clearly said, I haven't got a place for James Garner in this team this year. I've got midfielders that I think are better. Absolutely fine. But that's where the manager's role ends. He doesn't then go sell him and sell him for next to nothing. Man United have to, have to be in an a debate with the manager. You can't just do everything the manager wants. You've got to you've got to teach Ten Hag as much as you've got as he's got to teach you. That is a youth player. That sends a very big message to the fan base when you sell a youth player for next to nothing who's never really had a chance. He should have gone on loan. He should have gone on loan and Manchester United could have done that. So I'll take it on board that Eric didn't want to use Garner this season, but United didn't need to sell him for next to nothing. So I'm sorry, it's a very big step to say Eric Ten Hag's the reason James Garner got sold. He didn't negotiate the deal and we could have loaned him anyway. So...